Let me get, um, let's start off with kind of a perspective. Sam, what percentage of this audience do you think has in some way interacted with AI today? I, I would bet most. Uh, I'm not going to hold you to it, by the way. <laughs> in the 90s. It's a, and most of us don't know where it's affecting our lives. Yeah, you know, there, there are people who use ChatGPT, and you kind of know when you're using that or not, but the number of people that are integrating AI into all of their other services and taking our GPT-4 and other models that we have, and, you know, it's sort of like lifting a lot of services up. Has AI crossed a, a critical threshold in the past year? I think that, yes, but I think there will be many thresholds that AI uh, crosses. You know, we used to, Brian actually gave me great advice about this. We used to talk about, we're going to get to this like moment of AGI and, you know, it was this very ill-defined term and I think it never made sense to think about it that way in the first place, but we used to. And, and now we think about it as it'll just be this series of thresholds uh, where the systems will get new and new, cap better and better capabilities. So, you know, you can use ChatGPT today for some things and you'll be able to use it for much more helpful tasks in the future. 